I don't know that I really have a specific program because we're doing everything here and, and, sure. and a lot of people don't realize that at the local level we do exactly everything the federal government's doing, the well, states are doing. That's what it doing. all comes down to, the local I think, level, I think right? for me, Luke, uh, one, uh, a selfish part for me is, you know, it's cybersecurity is my concern with, with what I do in my normal job. Uh, in the National Capital Region, from an emergency management standpoint, I think what we're concerned with uh, as uh, CISOs is the communication part of when there is an issue with a critical infrastructure provider. And critical infrastructure has gone way beyond what anyone ever thought it would be. We have, you know, we have our, um, our phone systems, we have uh, a multitude of things that are going on, but so like when we have an incident now, the emergency management agency, th they've done this time and time again so they can manage the incident, they can get things going, but what we're noticing from a cyber side when there's a cyber incident, we, um, we're not brought into the loop. And for me, I'm trying to figure out in the, uh, the NIMS piece of that, where do we bring cyber in and then where, is, uh, where are the critical infrastructure providers being um, brought into the, the, the table to say, give us, the, we, I, I need to know if you had a cyber incident, what it was about, and we've got to be able to, to have that trust to where they can communicate that to us today. Because today, when those things happen in those critical infrastructure provider networks and things, we're not notified, and it is, it's, a, it's a problem for us because the one thing that we have to answer to is our citizens. So if they don't have 911 capabilities because it's down, if they don't have um, power, they're, not, they're, they're gonna do one phone call to that power company, but a majority, 99% of all the other calls now are gonna come to the local.